Hi honeys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be doing um, another face mask. Today we are doing a charcoal and turmeric face mask. I am going to tell you two ways of how to do this mask, but this mask is really, really good for those um, of you honeys that have oily skin, um, those of you that have, you know, visible pores. What this mask is going to do for you is that um, we are going to use um, activated um, charcoal so this is going to bind to the dirt inside deep inside your pores and then it's going to take that dirt out what that does in turn will mean that it will shrink your pores because it is the dirt inside the pores that makes your pores big and visible so that is what this mask is going to do I hope you really do try it especially if you do have oily skins um, and if you do want to you know shrink those pores and make them less visible um like i said that you can do this mask in two ways you can make it a peel off or you can just make it a normal mask what i do is it depends on whether or not i have time if i have time i will do it as a peel off but if i do not then i'll just use it as a um, normal mask that i'll keep on my face for about 20 to 30 minutes and then i'll just wash it off okay so now we're gonna get to the ingredients oh my god i forgot um, my olive oil. I definitely need olive oil for this one. Okay. okay, I am back with the olive oil. So what we are going to need is you're going to need your two tablets um, of your activated charcoal. You're going to um, need a, one sachet of your gelatin. Um, if you are going to make it as a peel off, you're going to need your olive oil or whatever oil is good for your skin. Um, you are going to need turmeric. You are going to use warm water. Slight, slightly hotter but warm water um, and then you need your teaspoon you need a spoon and you need a mixing bowl and then you're going to need your applicator you know my applicator so this is what I'm going to do now I am going to start with oh, this is a new pack you buy these things and they literally last you forever I'm just going to use two now these differ you can either buy these ones or you can buy those round ones that are banded it's really up to you what you want to do oh god okay wow I can't seem to be opening this now but it should be easy why is it so difficult now okay there we go oh my god just be careful when you open this I just spilled now. My hands are so slippery because of the oil. Um, I spilled a bit of that olive oil. But yeah, I don't normally struggle like this. But there you go. So you're going to need two of these um, activated charcoal capsules. And then you are going to need a half a teaspoon of your turmeric but I match I'm not going to be making the pilaf so I'm not going to be using the gelatin and I am going to use a couple of drops of olive oil I make sure I make just make it a, a teaspoon of olive oil because yeah me and my skin and then i'm just going to use this is going to be my skin and then i am going to use a spoon of water and i'm just gonna mix it now this is what it looks like i'm just gonna mix it now the reason why I use it with the turmeric because I still want my skin to be, you know, lightened up and brightened. Um, I don't know if you saw the previous um, skin brightening, skin lightening face mask, the turmeric mask. If you haven't seen that yet, you should check it out. I will leave it up um, on the screen there. Once your mask is mixed nicely, this is basically what it looks like. It look, looks kind of greenish. So I am just going to apply that now. I don't know if I need more oil. I don't think so, but it's fine. 
so i'm just going to apply this mask now now um honeys if you are going to be making this mask as a peel off um you will you will instead of one um um spoon of water you will need two spoons of water and then you are going to use one sachet which is going to be two um spoons of um uh, of your gelatin and then uh, you probably need about uh four four maybe four drops of olive oil or whatever oil you want depending on you know whether you have oily skin or not so yeah but if there's anything that is unclear you can always reach me on my social media i'm always happy to elaborate i'm always happy to answer the questions that you might have but also do your own research as well i do encourage that that you go check out the benefits of using charcoal on your skin the benefits of using um turmeric on your skin the benefits of using coffee on your skin like all these things that i've posted like i feel like you should also check them out just so that you you know you can be informed and know more and also find maybe your own ways to do your own diys and then you can share them with me as well and we can just you know have a nice community of sisters that are helping each other look beautiful the natural way so yeah let me stop yapping and apply this baby now as always um ladies whenever you are going to be using products for this for the first time i do always encourage that you use um a sample um on your either on your hand or any part of your skin except your face just to make sure that you are not um allergic to the ingredients if it is the first time that you are using those um products or those ingredients that i am using for my um face masks so i am slapping this baby on now i need the turmeric love i haven't done this mask in a while i think it's been about two months i haven't been doing the charcoal mask and yeah i am happy that i'm finally doing it i'm really just lazy today that's why i'm doing um this one instead of the peel off i'm just not in the mood for the peel off i'm actually not, <laughs> i'm not even in the mood for the pain i'm literally just not in the mood um for the pain that comes with peeling it off just not in the mood now i am going to remove the face mask so now this is the thing honey's name sometimes i do just wash off my face sometimes i either use coconut oil especially when i feel like my skin is dry i just use a wet wipe with coconut oil and i just like wipe it off and i leave my face at that but sometimes you know the oils do become a bit overbearing they feel heavy on my skin and i actually need to wash my face out so um now i'm just going to use a few wipes just to clean my skin um i'm sure some of you honeys have seen in my previous videos that i do this a lot i really do like this i feel like it just moisturizes and cleans my skin at the same time be careful not to make a mess one of the reasons why this is just very nice is that you can still help exfoliate your skin while you are trying to remove the mask but just don't be too harsh just rub gently i really love this mask it's one of my faves that is why i am sharing it with you honeys um one of the things i use as well a lot on my face is my diy rose water um i will make a video where we can make one together but i currently don't have so i am going to be using this garnier um cleansing water i also like this it's it's nice it does remove makeup like it says it does and all of that so it's a very nice alternative for when you don't have your natural diy products and then you have nice um substitute products to use and it's also not expensive as well um i bought that on special actually so 
I can't really tell you what its original price is because I really don't know. I've only bought this like twice. But I do love it. So you just try and get everything off. Now that I'm done, I'm removing my mask with my coconut oil. I am going to go in with my cleansing water. This is just nice because it's going to leave my face nice and you know refreshed and i just took a shower or something so i love that and i love that it smells amazing too it's just nice you honey should really try this mask especially if you are struggling you know with your face because sometimes you just need natural products man I'm not somebody that has used a lot of products in my life, but um, yeah, it, I realized very later on in life that I have very dry skin and I had been using your um, products that were drying out my skin throughout my life. So it's just been crazy. So now I'm just reversing the damage that I have done over the past couple of years. Um, I love this. Um, I'm done using this now and now I am going to use my day moisturizer. I love this. It's the Himalaya Herbals Energizing Day Cream. I love this. It's really my favorite. Um, if I am to be going out, then I will first apply this and then on top I will apply my sunscreen. But I'm not going to go anywhere now. So yeah, this is how I'm going to apply it. And by the way, this is really a wrong way of applying your skin products because it's such a waste but yeah I'm sort of in a hurry and yeah tell me how it went you honeys when you do try this mask and yeah let's talk don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video so I can just keep on making more you know just give me more love as well and yeah I'll see you next time with another video